today our live is about higher studies in Malaysia and we have our guest, our Malaysian uh, counselor, Abi Yadpa Zamzam. Hello, how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great too. So, uh, the prominent consultant is, has been established for 12 years and we have been working with so many universities uh, we are directly partnered with. And uh, if you have any question about Malaysian universities, uh, about higher studies, you can comment below and you can also share this video as much as you can. So uh, let's start, shall we? And sure. So why should students choose uh, Malaysia for their higher studies? Well, thank you so much for the question. Uh, well, there are a number of reasons why a student should choose to study in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, if I start, firstly, um, there are many students who wish to study abroad like USA, UK, Australia and many other famous Western countries. Uh, but the thing is that sometimes we have to compromise due to the uh, huge tuition fees that are demanded in their universities. However, in Malaysia, you get to achieve a world-class degree, investing a very low amount of tuition fee. So that is a win-win situation for every student. Moreover, for any international student willing to study in, in, you know, in Malaysia, uh, they would easily get a friendly environment um, and they'll get, they'll get to you know, be connected to different multicultural people. And there is, of course, no language barrier. Everyone in Malaysia can speak in English. So it will be very easy for any international student to just, just get in and you know, study and also make friends and have a good international study experience. So there are a number of reasons why a student should go to Malaysia. And many okay. more. Okay. So can you tell us about the programs that are offered by uh, Malaysian universities? Well, um, any programs you have in the list, any universities in Malaysia, either private or public, has it for you, starting from business administration to engineering field to medicine, uh, information system, fashion design, um, and many more, actually. So any student willing to study in Malaysia can come up with any desired program. So yeah. OK. So can you name some universities that we are directly partnered with? Yes, uh, well, Prominent Consultant is proudly partnered with many public and private universities in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Namely, uh, if I have to start with private university, there is Taylor's University, which is an international university, and there is the Skirtin University, Segi University, Marshall University, and there is uh, Asia Pacific University, Multimedia University, and if I have to name a few public universities, well, there is University Putra Malaysia, uh, University of Technology Malaysia, Islamic International uh, Un University Malaysia, uh, and many more actually. Okay, so uh, there are public universities and private universities. Mm -hmm. Can a student get admission in uh, public universities and what are the basic requirements everyone Sure. Uh, any student can get admitted in public universities in Malaysia provided that uh, they demand for good results. Mm -hmm. So students uh, who have secured a GPA 4 in, in HSC starting from GPA 4.5 to 4 are also considered. And since public universities have uh, you know, challenging requirements, even GPA 5 is also a requirement over there. So what about the private universities, like uh, do they have any basic requirements, I mean if students can get in um, public universities, can they get in uh, private universities? Admission in uh, private universities in Malaysia are pretty flexible, mm -hmm. so any student securing a GPA 2.5 or above uh, can easily have a gateway to our private universities in Malaysia, and besides that ILTS is a requirement, so yeah, the you know, the admission process in private university in Malaysia is easy, yes. Okay, so there are other courses like diploma, certificates, and um, foundation courses. What about them? Like, yes, um, any student after class 10 from Bangladesh mm -hmm. can actually, uh, you know, have a chance to study in Malaysia in uh, different programs as in certificate program, which is, which is just about 1.5 year. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, a student can also, you know, after class 10, can study in diploma programs and as well as foundation program. Mm -hmm. Diploma programs are usually two to three years, and any student who just completed diploma can directly enroll into bachelor's program just from the second year mm -hmm. in the bachelor's program. And after foundation, a student can complete his bachelor's program within three years. Oh, okay. So students can um, apply from school, also yes. from college, even if they have a GPA of below. Point, uh, 3.5 or 3 
they can apply for a uh, foundation uh, below two point five. They can go for a certificate. Okay. And they can also apply in diploma and foundation programs. Okay, that is a great opportunity. Students should go for it. So uh, now about the tuition fees that uh, students are really worried about. What about that? Uh, I mean, what is the average tuition fees for public and private universities? Well, for Malaysia, to be honest, as I've mentioned before, the tuition fee to you know complete your higher studies is absolutely and undoubtedly very uh, affordable. Mm -hmm. So if a student is willing to study in public universities in Malaysia, then the average uh, costing per year could be within 2.5 lakh to 6 lakh. Mm -hmm. And in, and, in, and in private universities, it could be a, a little bit higher because our private universities are partnered with international universities and are collabor you know, collaborated internationally, so it could go uh, between 8 to 10 lakh. Okay. Okay, so um, so apart from tuition fees and other things, can you tell us about the, um, the dual award program that uh, Malaysian universities are offering? Well, um, that's a very good question. Uh, many of our uh, you know universities in Malaysia are partnered with international universities, which gives a chance for students to achieve dual uh, you know dual award program, uh, namely Segi University, APU, Asia Pacific University. I mean, and there is this Health University. Uh, there is Inti University, there is FDMS Global College, Westminster okay. University, they're providing a dual award program. And actually there are many more. If uh, a student needs specific information about that, then I would recommend the student to contact prominent consultant either by mail or book an appointment with us, we'll assist you accordingly. Okay, so um, now that we're done with that, can you tell us about the intake that are offered by Malaysia universities? I mean, how many intakes are there in a year? All right, intakes in universities, in public and private universities. Uh, in public, there are two intakes every year. Uh, it takes place in January and September. And in private universities, usually there are three to four intakes, so a student need not to worry about that. There are available intakes. So if a student is willing to uh, take uh, admission for the January session next year, then we'd highly recommend the student to uh, come to Prominent Council right away, mm -hmm. and we will assist uh, the student accordingly, uh, provided that he provides us his academic documents properly. Okay. Okay, so um, for your information, our office is in uh, Sector 11, Uttara. It's in uh, Shunargal, Janapur. So if you have any inquiries, uh, other than this, you can come and visit our office. You can talk to our Malaysian counselor in person. So uh, about the IELTS, everyone uh, also wants to know about the IELTS. What about that? I mean, uh, the minimum requirements or the... All right. Uh, since our Malaysian universities are, you know, are basically known to provide or produce world-class degrees, so many of our universities are now looking for IELTS, which makes IELTS as a mandatory requirement. So the IELTS requirement for a certificate, a diploma and foundation programs are between 4.5, 4 to 4.5. And for bachelors, it's uh, 5 or 5.5, but not less than 5.5. And for master's and PhD program, the requirement is from 6 to 6.5. Okay. So what about the scholarship opportunities? Uh, can you tell us about the scholarship opportunities in uh, private universities and public universities? Yes, this is a very common concern for any students uh, who are willing to study abroad. They will definitely look for scholarship. But uh, let me uh, stress on this fact again that the, uh, the tuition fees in you know, Malaysian universities is extremely affordable. And uh, our universities definitely provide scholarship, but it is a partial scholarship. Uh, which could range which, between 30 to 50 percent or even more depending case wise. Mm -hmm. So if any student is willing to study in Malaysia and is also looking for a scholarship, um, we would just recommend the student to come to us based on his academic uh, performances um, and profile. Mm -hmm. we, would, uh, we would assist him on, on which university could provide what range of scholarship to him or her. Okay. Okay, that's very good news. Uh, what about the ac accommodation facilities and the leaving costs? I mean, apart from the scholarship and the tuition fees. All right. So uh, that is also one of uh, one of the most common concern for international yeah. student willing to study in Malaysia. Um, the living cost in Malaysia for an international student, uh, basically from Bangladesh, is just a piece of cake, uh, which is very much similar to the living condition cost uh, in Dhaka, which just takes around 15,000 to 25,000. That is actually depending on the lifestyle of a student. 
and the accommodation facilities are basically provided by universities both off and on, off and on campus and also a student himself can arrange accommodation facilities and the cost uh, could range between 280 to 500 or 600 ringgit in Malaysian currency which is actually very affordable. Mm, okay, okay. So uh, what about the uh, work opportunities for international students? Students who want to go abroad, they first think about they will go for a part-time job and do the, the study and do other things. So what do you, what do you have? Uh, well, in Malaysian universities, uh, students in undergrad level are actually uh, more, you know, are more tend to be focusing on their studies okay. more than into work. So there are, uh, you know, the work options in undergrad level is actually limited. Mm -hmm. However, if the student is actually a student from, you know, master's or PhD, uh, you know, level, then he, can, he or she can get to, you know, get the facility to work because uh, master's and PhD classes don't take places every day mm -hmm. so they can and that time they can arrange or they can look for work but in undergrad level it's limited actually okay so uh, is it possible to get PR or settle down after their study well if the student is uh, you know as long as the work permitted is extended a uh, student can get to work over there but however there are no PR facilities in Malaysia Okay, so guys, if you have any question, please comment below. Our counselor will answer you right away. So um, I'll be asking instead of um, them. And uh, does a student need a bank statement for their uh, student visa? Well, the most interesting part about uh, processing visa for student in Malaysia, they do not require any sort of bank statement. Oh, that's good. That makes the you know visa processing more easier yeah it's very complicated for other other countries, countries. yeah so uh, about uh, after that uh, can you tell us about the process I mean how long does it take to do the whole process starting from offering letter to student visa well if the academic uh, doc documents and you know and all the other documents as needed by us uh, I mean the relevant documents have been provided by the student properly mm -hmm. And when the application procedure goes smooth, uh, it should not take more than a month. Mm -hmm. And in case if there are any sort of delays, just in case, it should not take more than two months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you can you tell us about the uh, service charge that we are we are going to be asking to our students who are willing to go abroad with to us? Well, we have a good news. Uh, students willing to study in Malaysia for private universities, we do not charge any service charge at all. Um, and for students who are willing to study in public universities, especially in Malaysia, there is a service charge. And uh, we let the student know about it. Uh, once the student contacts from a consultant, uh, either by email or by an appointment face to face. OK, thank you for giving us all the information. You're Lastly. Welcome. Uh, can you tell us about the? Uh, can you tell our students about the higher studies in Malaysia? I mean, last few words, if you. Well, um, what what we know actually, uh, if you get to study abroad, you and you know achieve an international degree, uh, anywhere in the world, you would be regarded as a potential person and as a resource person. And for Bangladeshi students like us, uh, studying abroad is is a dream for everyone. So and and to you know achieve that dream, uh, I believe Malaysia is a very good study country because firstly it is known as the hub of global education worldwide, and it has been ranked 11th as the most studied uh, as the most preferred uh, study uh, country in the world by UNESCO. And thirdly, it is the most affordable uh, you know country in case of higher studies abroad and you get to achieve a degree that has world well recognition and you have easy access to uh, you know, career uh, enhancement from there. And moreover, um, if you get to achieve it uh, with a very less investment of tuition fees, then it is definitely a win-win situation for any students from Bangladesh. So I'd highly recommend students to have a dream to study abroad and definitely have Malaysia in your list. Thank you, uh, Habib. 
Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, if you have any inquiries, you can also comment here and you can also call us. Our uh, counselor's number is given in our um, caption, which is uh, 01 775 So if you miss this live, you can also call her and you can get any, any information you want. You can also email us. The uh, email address is also given uh, in our page. So keep an eye on our page and you can also check our videos on YouTube. That is also given in our page. And you can also... Um, join our uh, next live session where we will be talking about more about Malaysian universities the help universities also coming in our uh, next live so keep an eye on our page to get to know more about our universities thank you thank you